Hello and welcome to part 3 of 40 words that didn't exist 40 years ago. Number 21. Pescatarian. According to Merriam-Webster, the portmanteau of pes and vegetarian was created in 1991 to refer to vegetarians who also ate fish, since, technically, they aren't vegetarians. Number 22. Selfie. No, Paris Hilton did not coin the word selfie. According to The Guardian, an unidentified drunk Australian man attempting to describe his face was the first person to use the term back in 2002. In 2013, it was named Oxford Dictionary's International Word of the Year. Number 23. Podcast. Stemming from what was known in the 1980s as audio blogging, the term podcast describes an episodic series of digital audio files available online. Generally, the content is non-fiction in nature and analytical in content. The updated version of the word was first made popular in 2004 by Ben Hammersley in The Guardian. Number 24. FOMO. An acronym that stands for Fear of Missing Out, FOMO was first used by marketing strategist Dan Herman in 2000, according to Boston Magazine. Number 25. Muggle. Yes, muggle, a term invented by J. K. Rowling to describe a person who isn't endowed with magical abilities, is a real word. It first showed up in 1997, in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and it took just five years, according to the BBC, for the Oxford English Dictionary to deem it official. Number 26. Shopaholic. Thanks to the boom of more culture and the development of mega malls in the 80s, we gained heavy usage of the word shopaholic and it's still used often today. But the origin of this word dates back to 1984, from an article in the Washington Post. According to Avis Cardella in her book Spent, the article was trying to defend Princess Diana, who was rumored to have had an excessive shopping habit, otherwise known as being a shopaholic. Number 27. Flexitarian. According to a 2004 article in the New York Times, flexitarians, are those who eat a regular diet of vegetables, but include other sources of protein, like meat, in moderation. Number 28. Crunk. First coined by the hip-hop music scene in the South in the 1990s, crunk is a genre characterized by a repetitive chants and rapid dance rhythms. Decades later, it's picked up a double meaning, to be crazy and drunk simultaneously. Number 29. Bougie. A modern take on bourgeois, the word bougie means marked by a concern for wealth, possessions, and respectability, according to Merriam-Webster, when they added it to the dictionary in 2018. Number 30. Props. Since the 1990s, props has meant nearly the same thing as respect only it's used as a plural noun. One is not just given props. One must earn them. And no, one cannot get just a single prop. That's not a thing, at least in this use of the term. Hope you have liked the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Click the link in the description to watch the next part of this video. Thank you so much for watching.